Good afternoon and greetings from cold, snowy Calgary in Canada. Thank you so much to Urna Bose and Different Truths for conducting an interview with me about my father, the late poet Nisim Ezekiel. I have been requested to read two poems by him. The first one I have chosen is A Morning Walk and it's from the collected poems by Nisim Ezekiel 1952 to 1988. A Morning Walk by Nisim Ezekiel Driven from his bed by troubled sleep in which he dreamt of being lost, upon a hill too high for him, a modest hill whose sides grew steep. He stood where several highways crossed and saw the city cold and dim, where only human hands sell cheap. It was an old recurring dream that made him pause upon a height. Alone he waited for the sun and felt his blood, a sluggish stream. Why had it given him no light? His native place he could not shun, the marsh where things are what they seem. Barbaric city, sick with slums, deprived of seasons, blessed with rains, its hawkers, beggars, iron-lunged, processions led by frantic drums, a million purgatorial flames, and childlike masses many-tongued, whose wages are in words and crumbs. He turned away, the morning breeze released no secrets to his ears. The more he stared, the less he saw, among the individual trees, the middle of his journey nears. Is he among the men of straw, who think they go which way they please? Returning to his dream, he knew that everything would be the same. Constricting as his formal dress, the pain of his fragmented view, too late and small, his insights came, and now his memories oppress. His will is like the morning dew. The garden on the hill is cool, its hedges cut to look like birds, or mythic beasts are still asleep. His past is like a muddy pool from which he cannot hope for words. The city wakes, who, where fame is cheap, and he belongs, an active fool. My next poem is my favorite poem of my father's, and it's called Poet, Lover, Bird Watcher. To force the pace and never to be still is not the way of those who study birds or women. The best poets wait for words. The hunt is not an exercise of will, but patient love relaxing on a hill to note the movement of a timid wing. Until the one who knows that she is loved no longer waits, but risks surrendering. In this, the poet finds his moral proved, who never spoke before his spirit moved. The slow movement seems somehow to say much more. To watch the rarer birds, you have to go along deserted lanes and where the rivers flow in silence near the source or by a shore remote and thorny like the dark's heart's dark floor. And there the women slowly turn around, not only flesh and bone, but myths of light with darkness at the core. And sense is found by poets lost in crooked, restless flight. The deaf can hear the blind recover sight. Thank you.